Gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Fantastic uh, welcome by the audience. Wasn't that good? Very good. Very, Very believable. believable. It was like an organic gust of balls from there. What? The gust of balls. Yeah, yes. what you say? I, I had to warm up comedian tonight. We call him a comedian, is he? Yeah, he's not really a not comedian. Not really, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> they just odd for the, the warm up hell, comedian. I'm a robot, man. Kiss my ass. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the. Uh, really? Yeah. He said before I come out, you know, he tries to get the audience excited about me coming out. It's a tough job, I understand. <laughs> but he said, head him with you, the organic gust of balls from your uh, balls of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, or organic yeah, balls. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I felt like I was hit with a gust of windy balls yeah, anyway. Windy balls. <laughs> and believe you me, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what are you implying, Craig? I'm implying I'm originally European. <laughs> Although I've had the lap band. Uh, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. That doesn't make any sense. What the sense. hell's going on? Man. No, I don't know. Anyway, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed, it is. It is. It's uh, not a great day if you like to read, but then again, if you're watching this show, you probably don't. <laughs> No, researchers are saying that serious reading is in decline thanks to the internet. And they're saying that our brains are actually changing it, uh, you know, because of the internet. In other words, the internet is destroying our brains! <laughs> oh, man. That was... <laughs> our brains! There was an article about it today in the Washington Post. Do you have that headline? Uh, yeah, serious reading is everyone now. Wait a minute, what's that down at the bottom now? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Wow. Dave replaced by Honey Boo Boo? Well, if it's on the internet and it's in the newspapers, then it must be true. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to come out and just do noises all night. You should, yeah, you yeah. should. Thanks, man. Yeah, one guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what I like. I only like the noises. noises. You didn't get my gusty balls. Yeah. Anyway, according to this article, our brains are changing because we're not reading in a linear fashion anymore. When you read the internet, you know, you, you do what I do. You read a little bit here, a little there. You click on somewhere, you scroll down, you go and look at pictures of Channing Tatum, and then you take a nap. <laughs> so when you try and read a book with words that go in a simple linear pattern, your brain isn't used to it. Now, that's what the Washington Post says, because they're a newspaper. They're going to say that. They're going to say the Internet's bad. That's like, that's like the cat fancy you know, magazine coming out against dogs, right? Right. <laughs> you said it, Craig. I've got stuff. I've got... <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. Oh. What the hell, man? Man, they're not even watching here. No, no. <laughs> Anyway, the Washington Post says the average adult spends five hours a day online, and that's, that's just registering for Obamacare, am I right, everybody? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, we like it or not, the internet's changed the way we rude. We, we rude. <laughs> it's how Scottish people pronounce read. We say rude. <laughs> Have you read that book yet? Yeah, I, I rude it. Oh, rude come it. over here and rude that. Oh, you can't kind of rude because you've been rooting the internet. <laughs> Pretty soon it'll be no big. You, you won't join Oprah's book club. It'll be Oprah's tweet club. It'll get classic yeah, right. novels. Will be will be more like tweets so people can understand them. Moby Dick will begin. Call me Ishmael. Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> Books will be loaded with pop-up ads. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Ooh, herbal penis enlargement. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, 
The titles of classic books will definitely be changed for people with short attention spans. I've got it. Jeff, let's play the titles of books for people with short attention spans. Oh, good, good. Yeah. All right, and All right. Uh, you start. All right, uh, A Tale of One City. <laughs> the Hitchhiker's Guide to Fresno. I like that. I like that. The Grape of Wrath. Not bad. <laughs> One fish, two fish. Okay, that's enough fish. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Uh, Twelve Shades of Grey. Of Mouse and Man. Charlie, Charlie and the Chocolate. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> the Guinness Book of uh, One or Two Things. The Napkin Sketch of a Lady. Yeah, sorry, I'm just... Yeah. Anyway, I'm done here. <laughs> yep, I'm being replaced by Honey Boo Boo. Is that right? It's wow. in the paper, it's got to be true. Yeah, they're really uh, skewing young. That's... Uh, <laughs> young. <laughs> yeah, that's it. They're really going for the pre-teen yeah, crowd in yeah, late yeah. night now, yeah. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> that's do my that, do that again, it turns me off. Oh, you like it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, stop, stop. That's no good. I don't know. As I get older, I find myself drawn to doing things like that. Yeah, I, yeah. I find myself going, <laughs> and I wish I could do that. I don't have a tongue. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty glad you don't. Uh... <laughs> you want to? Uh... Yeah, sure, I'd love. All right. Tonight's program is brought to you by Short Attention Span Literary Classics, Gulliver's Staycation, and The Big Nap.